A pounding headache woke Jackson Briggs, an army ranger, from a restless sleep. He swallowed some medicine, the ringing in his ears slowly fading. Later, Jackson found himself efficiently serving customers at a fast food restaurant. While taking out the trash, he called Dorothy, a receptionist at a security company, hoping to secure a mission in Pakistan. However, she reminded him of his past head injuries and that his commanding officer, Captain Jones, needed to approve his clean medical report before he could be deployed. The deadline loomed. News got worse when Captain Jones called Jackson at his cabin. His close friend, Riley Rodriguez, had passed away. Deeply saddened, Jackson agreed to attend the memorial at the barracks. There, he joined his fellow soldiers in raising a toast to Riley's memory. Outside, he took the opportunity to speak to Captain Jones about the Pakistan mission and his medical report, but his request was dismissed. The next morning, Captain Jones found Jackson sleeping in his car and informed him of an upcoming mission. Elated, Jackson thought this might be his chance for Pakistan. Unfortunately, his expired ID caused a delay at the entrance gate. Thankfully, Captain Jones vouched for him. Inside, Jackson expressed his gratitude for the opportunity but was surprised when Captain Jones seemed more focused on the mission than discussing an interview. They headed deeper into the base, leaving Jackson to wonder what awaited him. Next, Jackson and Jones went into a storage room. Jones got Riley's belongings from another soldier. Jackson saw a photo album with a dog and asked about it. Jones said Riley's mom wanted the dog, Lulu, at the funeral in Nogales on Sunday. Jackson joked about the dog behaving, but Jones surprised him. Jones said it was now Jackson's job to take Lulu. Riley's mom wanted the dog at the funeral, but Lulu wasn't a friendly dog and could be dangerous. After talking about it, they made a deal. If Jackson could take Lulu to Arizona safely, Jones would help him get on the mission to Pakistan. Jackson had to agree. Jones and Jackson then want to see Lulu. Jones warned Jackson that Lulu wasn't a nice dog and to be careful. Jackson cautiously approached Lulu to put a leash on her, but things went wrong. When he touched her ears, Lulu attacked him. Jackson managed to fight her off and put her in a cage. He then locked her in the trunk of his car. Before leaving, Jones gave Jackson instructions on how to care for Lulu and suggested reading a book he gave him about handling difficult dogs. On the road, Jackson called Dorothy again about the mission. She said higher-ranking officers still needed to approve him. She said things would move faster if Jones called her before Wednesday. Unfortunately, Lulu's barking became a big problem during the drive. Jackson stopped to take off her muzzle because he thought it might be uncomfortable. However, Lulu immediately became aggressive again, so he had to put the muzzle back on. Later, Jackson went to a shooting range to practice, but the loud noises made his ears ring worse. While he was gone, Lulu somehow escaped her cage and tore up the car seat. Upset about the mess, Jackson gave Lulu food with medicine in it. The medicine made Lulu tired, so the rest of the trip was quiet. At night, Jackson went to a club but didn't meet any girls. Feeling lonely, he realized Lulu was his only companion. He tried feeding her by hand, but she wouldn't eat unless he threw the food on the ground. Two girls with dogs came up to Jackson and wanted to meet Lulu. Jackson was worried about Lulu's behavior, so he kept them away. He decided to talk to the girls anyway, and he learned they practiced a special kind of yoga. Jackson had drinks with some girls and talked about their jobs. He thought he might hit it off with one of them, but then Lulu started barking loudly. A stranger came up to the car worried about Lulu. Jackson checked on her, but the stranger threw a rock and broke a window. Lulu jumped out and attacked the man. Jackson tried to stop her, but the girls freaked out and locked him out of their car. Stuck with Lulu, they slept in the car that night. The next day, they were back on the road, but Jackson was worried about what Lulu might do next. Suddenly, she slipped out of her leash and jumped out of the car. Jackson stopped quickly and chased after her, following blood on the ground. He reached a greenhouse and called for Lulu. All of a sudden, he was shot with something that knocked him unconscious. When he woke up, he was tied to a chair in a strange place. A man named Gus thought Jackson was a spy. Jackson explained he just wanted Lulu, but Gus knocked him over and left, telling him to untie himself. Somehow, Jackson managed to break the ropes and grabbed an axe. He went inside a house nearby and found Lulu, but she didn't seem happy to see him. 
He was about to give up when he heard a couple arguing. Shockingly, he saw Lulu eating from the woman's hand. Jackson, still holding the axe, walked into the room. The woman calmed things down, saying she talked to Lulu. She offered to fix Lulu's injuries, food for everyone, and a chance to sort things out outside. They talked about Lulu and became friends. Suddenly, Lulu ran between them. The woman, who said she could read minds, explained she took a tiny piece of wire out of Lulu's paw. She also said she could hear Lulu's thoughts. Jackson didn't really care, but thanked the couple and kept going on his trip. Three days left. Jackson bought a fancy toy unicorn, maybe for a fancy hotel for Lulu. They stopped at a hotel. Jackson pretended he was blind and said Lulu was his seeing eye dog. They got a free room. That night, Jackson and Lulu enjoyed the comforts of the hotel room. Jackson said no to walking Lulu at first, but then changed his mind. He tried to bump into a pretty receptionist, maybe for a date? But Lulu chased after a Muslim man, and Jackson had to run after her. Everyone knew he wasn't blind, and he even went to jail for a little while. This almost messed up their trip. In jail, Jackson explained things to the man, and luckily the man understood and didn't press charges. Back on the road, Jackson and Lulu were closer than ever. Next, Jackson visited his wife, but it wasn't a happy visit. He still had the unicorn. Then he went to see Lulu's brother, Noah. Lulu usually wouldn't eat from Jackson's hand, but she loved Noah's owner, Lewis. They had a good time, and Jackson learned about Lewis. Time to leave, but all their stuff, even Jackson's medicine, was stolen. Lewis helped. Lulu sniffed Jackson's tag and they found their things in a homeless shelter. Lulu's a great tracker. They said goodbye and kept going. Later, Jackson even talked to Lulu, asking her to be calm at the funeral where there would be loud noises. It started raining, and their car broke down. They stayed at a mechanic shop for a while. When they tried to leave, the rain got worse, and Lulu wouldn't move. Frustrated, Jackson waited in the rain, then showed Lulu a dog movie on his phone. Finally, she ate from his hand, and Jackson even read her a poem. The next morning, the sun rose and Jackson and Lulu started running. They asked people for rides to get where they needed to go, but no one stopped for a long time. Finally, a truck driver said they could hop in, but they didn't go very far. Jackson had to carry Lulu because she was too tired to walk anymore. They finally reached the funeral. During the sad ceremony, Lulu started whimpering and barking. Jackson took her leash off, and she walked over to Riley's boots. She put her head on them, and everyone felt sad. When the soldiers shot guns in the air as a salute, Jackson petted Lulu to calm her down. After the funeral, Jackson gave Riley's things back to his parents and went to get his car fixed. While he waited, Jackson called his boss and told him what happened. His boss was happy and said he put in a good word for Jackson to get on the mission. Jackson thought someone else should take care of Lulu, but his boss said it was Jackson's problem. When the car was fixed, Jackson took Lulu to a field, hoping she would stay there. He even took her leash off, but she wouldn't leave. Jackson realized Lulu liked him, and they went to a motel for the night. In the middle of the night, Jackson's ears rang really loud and he couldn't stop shaking. He forgot to take his medicine and got sick. He crawled over to Lulu, who looked scared. This time, Lulu wasn't mean and they cuddled together on the floor. The next day, Jackson took Lulu to a military place where they were supposed to be separated. He started to walk away, but then he ran back because he didn't want Lulu to leave with someone else. Jackson lied and said Lulu listened better when she wore a special jacket, so he could keep her. A few days later, Jackson went back to see Lewis, the man who took care of Lulu's brother. He wanted help training Lulu. Jackson decided to keep Lulu forever, and finally went to see his wife and daughter. He knew Lulu saved his life and the movie ends with Jackson writing a thank you note to Lulu in the dog book.